Mary Meet YouTube, and I'm back again with another book review. Today's book review is going to be on The Rights of Odin by Ed Fitch. This book is, as you see, it's very thick. It's one of my more thicker Asa True books. This book I very much recommend if you're just starting out. You will have so much information to go by just by this book. This just this one book. Um, it tells you about the the priests and priestesses of this practice, what position you would do, what you would uh, dress yourself in for certain seasons, uh, what you do for certain sabbats, um, for certain rituals. And it has rites, it has uh, rituals for marriage, divorce, funerals, uh, naming a child, uh, blessing a child, and a great many other things that were done way back in the day during the time of the Vikings. Um, in this book it's also very heavy on the lore of all the go uh, most of the gods and there's a decent amount of, of information on each of them. If you decide to practice certain ones or all of them because there are some people that work with a whole pantheon rather than just one or two. Um, now this book is very very important to me because I do a lot of my research from this book and it's a fantastic book. It's very well written. The prayers, the chants are amazing and just there's so much information that one can learn from just this one book about the practice of uh, Asatru that I would just, I gave this book a 5 out of 5 and I protect this book with my life. It's barely dinged. It's a very important book to me. Um, now, if you're just starting out on being also true, look for this book. I highly suggest it, as well as the other books that I've um, done my little review on. With these books, you'll have so much information to go off of that you can eventually adapt to your own practice and tweak and fix to what feels right to you. Um, so, yeah, look for this book. It's called The Rights of Odin by Ed Fitch. So, thank you for watching. And remember, blessed be. And I'll see you later, YouTube. Bye.